I throw that crankbait up in this corner, I'm going to lose it. I may lose this, but, you know, it's a plastic lure, not rather than a $7 crankbait. So, you know, it's nice to be able to have more than one. And see, I threw that up there. Look, somebody's running with it. And there he is. That's how you draw it up. That's how you draw it up. It's good fish. Welcome back to Fishing with Vance. Check my microphone here. It's a little bit of a windy day. Hopefully my microphone's knocking down some of the wind. It's a beautiful fall day uh, here in Pennsylvania. I'm out bass fishing at my original lake known as Bragg. And uh, a little bit windy. And we'll see what happens. I got uh, I brought you know, the whole, whole nine yards here, but I'm planning on throwing a lot of crankbaits today. But... Um, also pitch you know some flukes and and uh, various worms up shallow that um, that uh, don't get hung up as much so we'll see what happens with that and uh, let's see how many fall fish I can catch and uh, I'll have some fun it's a beautiful day it's a little windy it's, a, it's it was cold last night it's about 40 you got in the 40s last night and um, so we'll see what we can do. Thanks for coming along today on fishingwithvance.com. I'm going to start off with a fluke. This is the albino fluke, I know. Um, just because that's where they were hitting last time, up shallow. I don't want to throw those crankbaits up there because I know there's some laydowns up in here. I'm on the shaded side of the lake, which I don't know is a good idea. But let's just see since I'm over here. Um, water temps are getting down there. They're in the. <clears throat> they're in the. Um, I think it's 65. Yeah, six. Water temp is down to 65 degrees. So I think the play is to get in the sun and uh, for the water maybe a little warmer for them. But uh, I just sort of came this direction. So I'm gonna go fish on those. Definitely go fish on those uh, on the rock line over there by those barrels. I think I'm getting a hit, but I'm not totally sure. I would think the, the fish are feeding up for fall, but <clears throat> excuse me. We'll see what happens. Um, I was here about a week ago, and the water temp was 73 degrees. So it's dropped quite a bit. There's a, I think there's a bumper hit. He's running with it. Look, it's a little guy. Yeah, it is. Little dude to start off the day. There he is. All right, that's good. Always good to get this skunk off the boat early. It's a little guy. I'll take him. I think this time of year, the, you know, the, the fluke minnow type baits are the way to go sure brought my internet minnows with me today i forgot them so maybe if i fish again into the week i'll i'll do that but like i said always good to get the skunk off the boat so let's, uh, let's see what else we got here the wind's gonna keep me challenged today to hold the hold the pelican on the spot i don't do anchors because um, I like to kind of stick and move so but uh, I think the wind will eventually have me drifting across the middle thrown crankbaits but we'll see how this goes first um, and go from there so fish are definitely active but I'm going to throw having said that I'm going to switch quickly to the little shad wrap I brought, this guy right here. It looks just like the other. I think this is a, actually a shad. And let's see what this guy does. I love this little setup. It's on a Fenwick Eagle, uh, medium light. And I have a little Fluger President size 25 on this. And it just, it's a good little light setup. 
really good for smallmouth uh, in the river. It's a good, good setup. But Let's see if these guys are up here. fish up there is, he barely counts as a fish to see who hit this you gotta be kidding me look at this little guy wow all right that right, little man <laughs> that's awesome here's some realistic fishing for you right there Something. One of this little, <laughs> little little guy. Right. Gotta find the big boys, but uh, so far, the bigger boys, I should say. So far, a little dinker boys, but. Man, you're you're too small to hit that, my man. But. little back black uh, twin tail it's a it's a, a zoom grub twin tail and I have it on a arky jig head because I got tired of missing fish or uh, you know losing fish on the Ned rig uh, hooks that I had I think they were just a little too small so I was losing a lot of fish, so I switched over to this. And I have to say, I still, you know, they still get off, obviously. It's fishing, but not as often. So it's just a little, little minor adjustment. It seems to have worked. But before I leave this area, oh, well, somebody else. Well, this guy's a little better. Oh. And <laughs> I said that and he popped off. I love it. Way to go, buddy. <laughs> Way to give me the middle finger. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, good adjustment. Somebody else has this and see if I can catch him this time. There we go. Another little guy. Slightly better, but not that much better. And that one was perfect up on the roof. Again, there's the twin tail. I might have to. I was trying to figure out if these guys are still down deep because I'm letting this, obviously this jig head's gonna sink to the bottom. So that's uh, kind of tells me I may want to throw the square bill instead of uh, that shad wrap because it's gonna get down lower to the bottom. Or throw the bigger shad wrap that dives deeper, five to seven feet. Wow, they are hitting movement. This guy hitting a movement. <laughs> yeah, they are hitting movement. So, I'll tell you what, I'm going to put this down. Put this down. So I'm not getting a good swing on them when they hit this on movement. And I am going to switch over to this shad wrap. 
This guy's the JLSR5, and he is a little bigger, got a nice rattle in him, and he dives deeper. <clears throat> Pulled up on this spot, which is typically held fish. Now, I don't know, because it's in the shade, uh, water might be a little cooler over here, but typically held fish. I'm gonna have to come back here later. There's a bump. Again, he didn't commit to it. There was a bump there. There's a fish, a little guy. All the little guys are up shallow right now. I don't even know this is a bass. Yeah, this little guy. Okay, thanks for coming off for me. Huh? There's another fish. Oh, this guy's a little better. There we go. Yeah, this guy's a little better. Shatter out. All right, partner. You, buddy. All right, I got myself up too close. That's okay. Good to catch a fish. He's a little better, better one, best one so far. Let's see what we got here. All right, guys, I pull up to this spot. Uh, this is where having the hollow rods, you can switch back and forth, especially here in the fall. It comes in handy. Um, there's way too many things that lay downs and stumps and all this stuff that is going to hang this, uh, this shad wrap up. Now this water is pretty clear <clears throat> and I think they do want minnow type baits here in the fall so that's where it's nice to be able to just pick up a different rod and toss this. Now this can get hung up too but not as easily and then you can throw this and you can use this as a crankbait too. I'm going to put this in the water as a rock right there but you can you can use this as a jerk, no the crankbait as a jerk bait and that fluke Dance that along. There's plenty of movement there. Um, if I throw that crankbait up in this corner, I'm going to lose it. I may lose this, but you know it's a plastic lure, not rather than a seven-dollar crankbait. So, you know, it's nice to be able to have more than one. And see, I threw that up there. Look, somebody's running with it, and there he is. That's how you draw it up. Draw it up. It's good fish. And there we go. And I'm not saying that he may have, may have hit that crankbait if I threw it up there, but I may have lost it too. So the wind's blowing me off. Oh, but there he is. Hit the fluke. He's nice. He, I got him up there. I I threw it with movement. 
you know, I, I danced it just a couple times, and he ate it. And, and that's, again, that's a different strategy. Nice, nice little guy for this lake. I'll take those all day. And that's how it works. Ooh. There's a fish. It's a good one, too. Real good one. Real good one. <clears throat> all right. Nice fish for this lake. Beautiful fish. Got him on the double, double till grub, twin tail, and uh, popping it along. Nice bass. Got him on the twin tail grub on the lead head, popping it up and down, raising it up and down. He smoked it. Nice fish. Cold. See you, buddy. There's all kind of techniques to catch them in the fall, for sure. But that fish was he left a little behind, a little DNA for his buddy. But uh, that fish was definitely deep, deeper. He wasn't. He didn't come up and hit that. He was deeper. So I think when I do go to the square bill, I'm going to go with the with the crankbait. I'm going to go with a square bill that kind of bumps along the bottom or is down along the bottom. So, a channel like this. Oh, there's a hit. There's a fish. They're popping out along. There he was. Yeah, he liked that. I like it. Same thing, he was out a little ways. He wasn't all the way in. And there he is. Grub. Well, guys, it's going to wrap it up for today's video. Um, kind of a slow day for for fall I think I caught about like I said about eight or ten um, had one little hit on this square bill but uh, I've been throwing it a while and uh, I gotta get out of here today so that's gonna do it for this episode I guess the moral of the story is you know when you go to the lake be flexible um, you never know what they're gonna hit you know I assume they're gonna hit all kind of movement today and uh, so I brought all the movement I had in terms of Square bills, lipless, uh, shad wrap, you name it. And uh, they just weren't having it. Um, the only thing I could really catch them on was uh, that fluke. So that's the way it goes sometimes in fishing. It's a beautiful day out here. I got to hit the road. But thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. Say, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Leave a comment. All those, all those things you're supposed to say at the end of these videos. So, I will wrap it up here. Thanks for joining me today. See you on the water on fishingwithvance.com.